Hey everyone, this is Super Galactic, and I'd like to welcome y'all to my YouTube channel. And what I want to talk about is immigrants coming in our country illegally, which means they're not coming in here the right way. And another thing I'm very upset about is these immigrants that are coming in here illegally think in their mind they're going to get put on a check and uh, live off of that. Knowing the simple fact that they come in this country illegally. Yes, Social Security administrations do that kind of stuff. They give people checks when they're not even coming in this country the right way, the legal way. That's messed up. That's messed up. And see, all that's doing is putting a strain on people that draw Social Security. People that put in for debt. People like my father. He draws Social Security because he worked many years when he was young and now he's retired and drawing Social Security. But with Social Security Administration giving these illegal immigrants a check, that puts a strain on the Social Security Administration or they can't give money out to people that work for it, that put in for it. It puts them in the bind. And that's not being fair. I mean, our government needs to be looking out for people like my father, somebody that put in time and paid their dues to society to help themselves and their family. And my daddy's always been supportive when we was growing up. He's always provided for us. So he deserves to get what he's getting. And for the Social Security Administration giving money to people that ain't supposed to be in our country, that's messed up. And Congress needs to do something about that. They don't need to let that kind of stuff slide. And that's what's been going on. Congress has been letting it slide too many times. They've been letting this go on ever since Biden's been president. At least when we had Donald Trump in the White House, all this was under control. You cannot say, and I don't care what CNN says or MSNBC, all these liberal media, I don't care what they tell people. When Donald Trump was president of the United States, all this was under control. We didn't have this problem. But the border is out of control. It's just out of control, and we need to get a handle on this because it's putting a strain on our system. It's putting a strain on our system where people can't get what's rightfully theirs. I heard reports that people are now having to pay for their premiums because of how the Immigrants that ain't supposed to be in our country is putting a strain on the Social Security Administration. Some people are having to pay defects. Well, no, people's having to fill out forms to get defects to pay for their premiums. Where some just decide to pay for it out of their own pocket. That's communism, because I've told my family many a times, our government is not going to give you no more than what they really want you to have. Don't think you're going to get rich off of a che monthly check because you're just not. That's communism. And I don't know why people would want to live under that. Now, these people... 
that draw Social Security, they should get that because they put in for that. They deserve that. That's rightfully theirs. But people draw an SSI, especially when they know they're able to work, You shouldn't want to live like that. You shouldn't want to live under that kind of system. You should want to do better for yourself. You should want to apply yourself. But only you will have to have that fire and determination to do that. Only you can do better for yourself, but you've got to apply yourself. You've got to have that fire and determination to do better. You can't have this attitude, well, I don't want to hurt my check. I don't want to hurt my check. You got to realize that's communism. They ain't going to give you no more than what they want you to have. You should want to get out of that. I know I would. I wouldn't want to live all my life drawing a monthly check of SSI. I would want to do better for myself. That's why I'm making music. There's money in that, folks. And you can do the same thing. All I did was I study a book on how to operate FL Studio. Learn all the techniques I needed to learn. Learn the four main things that I would only be using in FL Studio, I studied that book. I paid attention to every detail in that book. And as I was reading it, I got on my FL Studio and trying to duplicate everything that I was reading off of that book. And then it didn't take me no time. I already knew everything there is to know about Operating FL Studio. All those videos that you see on my YouTube channel that I recently posed, that was done off of FL Studio because I studied the book and learned how to use FL Studio. And you can do the same thing. You can learn skills like that. There's books on Amazon that you can order and learn these things. You ain't got to go to college to be a studio engineer. Why would you want to pay all that money, thousands of dollars, to learn something that you can just read in a book? That's the best route, in my opinion. Don't pay thousands of dollars to go to college. Just get you a book from Amazon and study these courses that's what I did, and I learned it. I didn't have to pay thousands of dollars to go to college to learn that kind of skill. And the thing is, you can utilize that and make a lot of money. And that's a good thing. And if you market it real good and, and you let people know that you're making music, and you cause a whole bunch of people to uh, get you to make music for them. One by one, one by one, one by one, just constantly. You can really make some serious cash at that. And that's the idea. So it ain't so much uh, making the music, but it's marking in it. And getting people to know that, hey, I'm making music. If you're interested in my gig, check me out. I'll make you some good music. And marking it like that. Yeah, you can make some serious cash. And, and, and you know, you might say, well, well, I'm on a check, monthly check, and I don't want to so much stop my check, but I don't want to hurt my medical insurance. Well, the thing is, if you're making music for people, 
you just think of the amount of cash that you would make per song. Like me, I make $725 per song. Per song. That's just one song that I'd be making for one person. Now, if I were to do a whole album, say 13 songs, that's over, that's over uh, $9,000. I don't know the quite amount, but I know it's around $9,000. And, and the way I've been making music, I've had that, I've had like all that done within four days, just four days, four days, 13 songs done. That's $9,000. And you might say, well, will I be able to use that money that I make and, and, uh, pay for my medical insurance because I'm going to tell you, you can get private medical insurance because here in the state of Georgia where I'm from, it don't cost but 500 and something dollars, maybe 550 a month. So if I'm making $9,000, heck yeah, I can have my own private medical insurance and, and it'd probably be better. So if you were to do the same thing, you wouldn't miss your monthly check of SSI. You wouldn't miss your medical insurance because you have better, better medical insurance. So you would be doing better for yourself. So, I mean, that's the mindset you got to have. you got to stop having this Stockholm Syndrome like, you can't make it without a monthly check. You got to get out of that mindset because you can do better for yourself, but you got to see that you can. Learn these new skills. Learn these new skills and you can go far in life. That's called applying yourself. That's, that's, that's just having that hunger to learn new skills. And I was determined to do it. I read that book good because I was determined to learn. I told my family before I even learned this new skill, I said, I'm going to read this book. I'm going to study it and learn as much as I possibly can. And they was like encouragement saying, maybe you can pull it off. Maybe you can pull it off. And sure enough, I did. I studied it and learned it, and now I'm happy that I'm able to make music now. I'm very proud of that. And I want you to have the same kind of success, because I know you can do it. You ain't got to, like I said, pay thousands of dollars to go to college to be a studio engineer. You can just order your book off of Amazon, read that book and learn everything there is in that book. And you can do the exact same thing all these studio engineers do, making music. Whether it be country, metal, hip hop, R&B, you can do it. I know, I believe in you. If I can do it, I know you can. You just got to have that fire and determination to learn these things. But yeah, I believe in you. I know you can do it. Don't ever doubt yourself or second guess yourself or wonder if you can do it or not. You just got to have the confidence in yourself and say, I know I can do this. I know I can do this. I just got to do it. So... I hope this video encourages people to do better in their life because that's the idea. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Leave a comment in the comment section below and tell me what you think. And please hit the bell so you'll be notified whenever I make another video. And y'all please subscribe to my YouTube channel and have a good one.